keep them off of Medicaid and uh, keep them out of a nursing home, but also help keep them in the community for as long as possible. All of our services, our home care services, our health insurance counseling, our HEAP programs, our elder abuse prevention and caregiver support, you know, if we didn't have those, people, more people would be on um, Medicaid and welfare and food stamps. And so, you know, we have to think of these programs as um, helping people stay independent as possible and they're using their own resources, which is a savings to the government. And that, you know, that okay. message gets lost uh, in uh, economic crunch. Uh, I know you do a lot. You, you've been cut back again, haven't you? We have. We took an 8% cut. Uh, there mm -hmm. was a lot of talk about cutting half of our funding, and that would have unfortunately um, kicked out $2.2 million of state and federal funds and the van that we get. The river. And the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that did not go through. Uh -huh. But I think uh, we need all as, as a community, not just hearing it from me, but I think all of our um, state and local officials need to hear from seniors and need to hear from them, you know, what they need. Um, and if they're getting services, you know, what's important to them? Because it's very difficult uh, for our legislators to make a decision without hearing from the seniors themselves. Thank you. We have a call. You want to take a call? Sure. I probably have more. Good morning, caller. Thank you for waiting. Thank you. I'm wondering if Dr. Spanos has a list of publications that would help um, an individual get in touch with different areas that she she or he does not know about but would like to know about <laughs> well i just happen to have uh you know this is the handbook that we put out uh the senior handbook and it's if you call our office we're happy to mail it out to you or if you'd like to stop by um this not only has um, information about all the services you can get from office for the aging but it has a lot of um most of the services available in the county um, that can help seniors. So this is, you know, I would send this out to you. Um, would you publish a uh, telephone number? I mean, t right now, that could be called. Sure. Uh, for our offices, it's 753-4471. If you're calling from the Dunkirk, Fredonia area, you can call 363. Oh, they, that's good. They put it up, 4471. Or if you're coming from the Jamestown area, it's 661-7471. Okay. Um, Thank you. There's also a wonderful helpline that we have for people who are disabled or seniors who are looking for a service to help them remain independent in the community. Right. That's right. the New York Connects helpline. And that's answered by a nurse. And she can not only tell you about, you know, services that are available through the county, but she can search services um, to help people with a lot of health issues um, that might that be looking for assistance. So, thank you. I'm sorry? Thank you very much. That is helpful. You're well, welcome. Well, thank you, caller, for the call. Uh, send me a stamped envelope. I'll send you five bucks off twice over oh, at, yeah. at the Lakeview Restaurant. Great place. Okay. Thank you. Two five dollar bills. Boy, do they have a salad there? A yeah. salad bar. Yeah. It's got everything I ever dreamed of in a in a salad. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> and they have okay. a fish that never ends. Flops over your plate for the fish uh, fry. <laughs> okay. Where are we? Higgins, call <laughs> your representatives, as Marianne Spanos has uh, indicated to you. Well, not and just, you know, not just our congressmen. Well, I think oh, our, yeah, our state our, too. Yeah. It was very evident to me that our local legislators also need to be educated about what Office for the Aging does. And, uh, you know, we're, try we're going to be doing some things differently this year to get them more involved and knowledgeable about what Office for the Aging does for their constituents. But, uh, you know, 
it was very evident to me that there isn't good understanding about the services that are offered through Office for the Aging. Some have made the comment, or they did as the budget process was commencing, that why is Office for the Aging providing home care? This is a duplication of what is available in the community, and it's really not. People, um, when they go into the hospital or ill, um, home care might, and they're coming out to home, um, when they're first recovering, that's covered by insurance. But say they have, you know, multiple health problems, they have dementia or some long-term diabetes, uh, they've had a stroke and didn't fully recover. What is there to help them if they needed a, ba you know, couldn't do their bathing anymore and didn't have a spouse to help hair, them? The hair. Their choice was to go into the nursing home or privately pay out of their own pocket. Well, that's where Office for the Aging comes in. You, you basically you are a gatekeeper. You show them where to go, right? Right. Well, we also uh, we also were using state funds that we get, uh -huh. pairing them. You know, if somebody is very low income, they can get services, everything paid for through Medicaid. Okay, but uh, what if they're just above the poverty level and not independently wealthy? You know, these services yeah, these can are cost... Dead in the water. Well, and the services and the hourly rate can be anywhere from 20 to $30. Right. Can, the most, can most people afford of course that? Not. I got a caller. Okay. Can I take a call? Sure. Okay, caller, thank you for waiting. Good morning, Reed. How are you? Well, good morning. What's up? Uh, my question is regarding the, the recent budget crisis and about the Office for the Aging. Specifically, what uh, you, you used to have a program, I think, um, where you could go out to restaurants and you, you pay, you know, a reduced fee we for a ticket and then go out there. I was wondering what happened to that. We still have that program. The interesting thing about Office for the Aging is that in certain um, programs like nutrition, we are the recipients of both state and federal dollars for that particular program. And even though the state has been cutting a bit uh, because they can't meet their, their uh, payroll or their expenses. In fact, they retroactively cut us $32,000, which was a real big hurt um, to our program. Retroactively? But, I mean, they're taking oh, yeah, they, from last year? No, from the, the current year. Yeah, that, was, yeah. that would be so the they last year. Were three their year goes to the end of March, and they told us um, in September or October that they're taking away $32,000 of money they already committed to our Another program. way the state is passing mm -hmm. on huge new taxes really right. or taking away from our programs. You know they had 25 percent and they still tell us oh, that was an increase 25 percent. We're the highest tax state in the, in the United States and uh, then they uh, decided well we'll fix that we'll just raise taxes another 25 percent. Yeah. And now it's even, they're saying we're going to have to have more taxes, but mm -hmm. hidden away, sneakily, they're passing on a lot of their costs that they took care of to the, to the local uh, They areas. are, they are. And that's one example, 30,000 here, 20,000 there, a little less road management, another mm -hmm. 10,000, and by little by little, but to, the state is strangling us yeah. financially. To answer the, the caller's question, because we, do, we had more federal funds for that purpose, um, that program is still going. We have, um, I think, mm -hmm. six restaurants that we're dealing with, or five, five or six restaurants. It's Grandma's Kitchen in Casadega and uh, the Surefine in Casadega. Um, the Green Arch in Brockton is one of our newer ones and getting rave reviews. How do you find that place? Um, I haven't been there yet, but um, I'm hearing great things from them. It's a beautiful them. diner, right by um, the Green Arch. <laughs> right, and, and Meters in Ripley and the Dutch Village in Climber. What's the deal? What's the deal? So, what's what's the, deal? the deal? The deal is that you can contact office if you're over 60 years of age. Cause over this is, 60? This is congregate meals, okay. the, not, unlike home-delivered meals, where you have to have some reason why you can't get out of your house to... Or, or make your own meal to get that meal at home. Anyone over 60 mm -hmm. can take advantage of our dining out program or any of our congregate meal programs. But the dining out program, contact Office for the Aging, you register, and then you request tickets. What we ask from you is a $3 donation per ticket. Now a ticket gets you what? <laughs> you, no, you what, take what that to these restaurants mm -hmm. and you get the full meal. 
Do you get it's a pick of, of a meal or is it You get a pick meal? of a meal off a senior menu uh -huh. that was developed with, uh, between the restaurant and our dietitian. What do you give them? Uh, hot dogs? <clears throat> uh, there's all mignon, lobster. <laughs> do you have lobster on it? I don't think there's lobster, no. but there is fish fry. I think at some of the places. I think, in fact, the Green Arch is one that's offering their fish fry. Mm -hmm. There are a few exclusions. I think that uh, Grandma's Kitchen in Casadega doesn't allow it to be used on Friday evenings just because they're so busy then, but any other time. Um, when you sign up for the program, we give you a list of the, um, the restaurants and at any times that are excluded. You can only get one meal a day. We have had people and wanting us to feed them. Could that include a double uh, scotch? Are you allowed to have a drink <laughs> yeah, Your it? liquor and your uh, dessert are on your own. Ah, I knew there was a hitch to this. <laughs> and you also, we do not include the tip. Everything uh -huh. else is included. But you need to leave hey, your own tip. Three bucks is a deal because the average dinner is going to run you 10, 12 Ex bucks anyway. Exactly. And uh, more possibly. And what the hell? You can't beat that. <clears throat> and what we do is the restaurant sends us the ticket mm -hmm. and we reimburse them the full cost. So we've taken that $3 and paired it with the money we get from the state and federal government for nutrition. And that's how we're able and to pay And you Sly them. Fox, you, I, I know you, that you're not going to pay it. The Fed is going to pay it, right? Well, you know, for all of our <laughs> programs, there is a local share match. You, and I think, how much of the local share would you would say there is for these things? Um, there's about 20%. Ah, that's enough. That's so good, and good that, that was the big, uh, you know, uh -huh. um, debate with this yeah. budget right. when the legislature made a proposal um, to cut half of the funding to Office for the Aging, they didn't realize that m most, all of that really is our matching dollars. For every dollar we get from the state and federal government, there's an average of 20%. So, 80 so for cents, 20 cents, you always get a dollar. Right. So our local share right mm -hmm. now, this year, is 770000 And we have over $3 million that we pull in from the state so it's and very, the feds. It, it's unthinkable to cut your budget. Well, <laughs> you know, it's... It's, again, we, we have to educate, you know, about what we're getting for that local okay. match. Well, I'm glad to hear that uh, in this huge budget cut on the county level and tax increase, you will have no van down by the river. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to be in the same office. Where's your office? Our, the main office is at 7 North Erie Street, just here up the street here in Mayville. We also have an office in Jamestown on 3rd Street. It's just over the 3rd Street Bridge where the Veteran uh, Clinic is and the Veteran Service Agency. And then we're also at uh, 45 Clip Star Drive in Dunkirk at the Dunkirk Senior Center. Great, so you're all over the place, all over the Well, map. you know, we try to be where the people are, you mm -hmm. know. Um, we've talked about consolidating into, you know, uh, we certainly can look at consolidating into one office, but that makes it more difficult for the seniors to get to us. So I don't yeah. know that there's that much of a cost savings to put us all in one building. There you go. Um, Mort, somebody's, I can see the red button is moving. Somebody is on the phone, wants to talk to you, or us, or somebody. Mm -hmm. um, Marianne Spanos, Dr. Marianne Spanos has been doing a marvelous job here, as far as I'm concerned, uh, on the Office of the Aging. And she's taking nothing and changing it into something, like the 20% down and a dollar back. Huh? How about that for 20 cents? Uh, we have, uh, incidentally, I noticed in the paper absolute care in Westfield, where my mother-in-law passed away and where there are a lot of people, and I have still friends over there, and my uh, niece works there and my <coughs> daughter works uh, nearby. I'll tell you something. They got the top state rating. For Wonderful. The, for their... Uh, uh, I, their services and their and, and the overall effects are. They they are a great crew. I, I yeah. did some work did there you? as a physical therapist when I was going back for my doctorate. Mm -hmm. I was uh, filling in, and they do have a very nice place there in Westfield. Well, you said uh, you were talking about you're providing uh, meals at home. I noticed they run an ad lately. All the absolutes, there are a bunch of them around. They took over all of them, nursing homes mm -hmm. just about. Accepting what is it, the, 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 let's see, memory garden, which basically has people with no memory in it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Um, I can't forget, I have uh, Alzheimer's. I'll call back when I remember. <laughs> Not funny, but it is in a way. I mean, we so, there's so little being done about Alzheimer's in this, in this uh, country. 
Uh, they should be doing massive research on how to stop it, how to slow it down seriously instead of the, the pills they give you, which have no basis to tell whether they work or not. I think it's the greatest medical fraud in the world. <laughs> Snake oil. Hey, you take this, it'll slow down the Alzheimer's. Yeah, how do I know? <laughs> Hello there. Good morning, caller. Oh, God. 